Hi, Michelle. Can you please tell us why Port Townsend is the coolest small town in America? For me, Port Townsend is the coolest small town in America because it has all of the positives of a city without the negatives of a city. So it's happening, it's vital, it's got arts, culture, exciting people, opinionated people. It's like a slice of New York, but it doesn't have the negatives. So we don't have the traffic, and we don't have the pollution, and we don't have crime, and we don't have any fear when we, as a, as a woman alone, walk down to the Rose Theater um, or walk home from the Rose Theater at 11 o'clock at night. We don't have those fears, but there's so much happening. So we live much larger than a town of 9,000. And um, to me, it's like, I pretend sometimes it's like a small little borough of a big city. So it's, it's cool because we live large. That's why it's cool to me. We constantly have a choice on a Friday night or even a Monday night in the summer of which one of the four things we're going to go to. There's poetry readings, there's uh, music events, there's just being out in the incredibly beautiful sky and uh, with views of mountains and water around us, so kayaking, biking, or there's going to some new play. There's just a lot happening. And um, going to the grocery store can take hours when you run into neighbors. So that's, that's exciting as well, yeah. And so where do you grocery shop? I actually don't. I don't cook and I don't grocery shop. I have my wonderful husband that does that. And, uh, but when I do on those rare occasions, I will go to the co-op and I do go to um, Safeway, which is a wonderful store, and co the co-op is a wonderful store, and Aldridge's is a wonderful store. So, and I guess I have to put in a word for QFC too, but um, uh, that's where I uh, will frequently see people at the co-op, and you know, you don't get out of there under half an hour. Yeah. And can you tell us about our farmer's market? Um, the farmer's market is an event in itself in that, it is really a social um, happening. It's also a place for your dogs to visit with other dogs, and it's a place to listen to great music. And, and then there's um, also the practical side of it, and that is you get to shop for your entire dinner or for a week's worth of wonderful food, both um, fresh produce as well as value added, great sauerkraut or great fresh fish and you can do it all while having a great time. So our farmer's market is happening. It's really happening, yeah. And what would you say to encourage someone to come and visit this town? What I would say is, is that we're at the end of the road. We're very far away from everything, but is a very unique, and I think the most beautiful place in the world. Surrounded by mountains, surrounded by water, and the Victorian architecture and it's just, it's one of a kind. It's one of the last great places, I think, in the United States. Yeah. You've been our mayor for several years, our wonderful mayor. Can you tell us anything that has been very special to you to be able to do as being part of government with Port Townsend? Well, one of the things that I've really uh, loved to see blossom was when I first started city council and then became mayor our farmers market was just sort of a bud or a seed and our farmers market was recently voted the best farmers market in Washington state and um, and that's a gift for our community but it's also wonderful that as a city councilor and mayor I was able to support them and um, to see them grow and really prosper and um, to be such an icon of this state. So, um, so that was really a great thing, yeah. And you've raised a family here. So um, can you tell us from a mother uh, the importance of having a child 
being raised in a wonderful community like Port Townsend. Um, I'll just talk about a particular moment um, coming from Southern California and you know Southern California has its gifts as well and um, I loved growing up on the beach down there but it got uh, it was time for me to move when I realized I wanted to raise my son in a smaller rural place and I can remember one particular day when my son was on his tree swing out in the front yard in a place we had overlooking Fort Warden and uh, Admiralty Inlet. And it was a sweet, small, little 1928 house, uh, which we have a lot of here. And um, I pulled out of the driveway and he was swinging on his tree swing and he yelled at me, bye mom, have a good day at work. And I thought, I'm so lucky to live here and leave him in the front yard and know that he's safe and that he's healthy and that this is a community in which he'll always have protection from his neighbors and that I can go off to work and my husband was at home but it just it hit me that one day that how lucky he is to be raised here in this community and at 20 he realizes uh, what a unique place. Um, now that he's in Seattle, he realizes that Port Townsend is a very unique, one-of-a-kind place. When I drive downtown on some days from my home, sometimes I think, this is such a great town, I'd love to live here. <laughs> and that's pretty wonderful after 20 years. And then I think, oh yeah, I do live here. <laughs> that's how cool it is.